unpopular opinion but jamming is probably like hands on my favorite bob marley song like not even one love but jamming we're jamming and i hope you like jamming too guys i have tickets to see the new bob marley one love movie tonight and this is gonna be me the entire movie because i am ready to jam out to all of the songs i actually heard that his music they're like losing their copyright because like been over 50 years and i think that's why they're using i think that's why they're like especially like celebrating him now and releasing the movie now as like a final hurrah to kind of wrap up his entire like career or celebration correct me if i'm wrong but i heard that you know he's gonna lose the copyright of his music mm -hmm. so i'm really excited to celebrate and enjoy his music one more time not one more time but like you know what i mean enjoy his music again with this movie and i'm really happy that they decided to create this and i love that rita marley and ziggy marley are two of the producers on the production because you know people that obviously knew him intimately get to contribute to the story and i think that's really really special my expectations are pretty high for the movie and i actually thought that that's why i would like do this video because i wanted to document the before and after is the movie worth the hype is it worth your time and money you're gonna see me react to the trailer first and foremost so i can have an idea of what i'm getting myself into guys the trailer already has me like doo -doo 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 don't let them fool you. Oh, I wish I could have sing. I digress. I cannot sing. I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself. Um, but I'm really excited. The trailer was a really solid watch. I predict that the movie will be a solid 8 or 9 out of 10 from the trailer. See you later when I'm getting ready. So I know I said I'll be watching the movie tonight, but it's actually a 420 movie, so the sun is still out, and I'm currently heading there. You haven't seen the trailer, but what do you think? What do you expect the movie to be like? I expect it to be really good. I've seen people kind of giving good reviews online. That's all I've seen. I haven't seen the trailer. I don't watch trailers for movies, by the way. I don't know why. Um, I cannot go in blind. I have to see the trailer. So we watched it, um, the movie is finished and it was a really really sad ending, um, definitely a tearjerker for sure and personally I think the entire production is a solid, a solid 9 out of 10. What do you think? Uh, production wise it was mm -hmm. really good, really well produced. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually production nine wise, out. yeah 9 out of 10. I was more, when I said 9 I was thinking storyline storyline yeah because i wanted them to include more like what you were saying oh so i was saying they should include more i, I thought they were going to include more it was really surface level um didn't really dig as deep as i wanted them to go but it was a wonderful mo movie nonetheless i'd give it an a seven overall definitely overall. worth the definitely worth the watch really definitely good production really great nine production. out of ten story wise yeah. five six they should have done more not that but. low i do you feel like the surface level storyline is kind of because i mean obviously to write his story you'd have to know the story intimately and it's been so long i mean of course you had rita and ziggy as producers on the production who would have known the story but also there's a lot that a lot well, there's a side to the story that only bob could have could have been there to tell so i feel like they did what they could with the story that they decided to show but it's a story we've seen and heard a, a million times over yeah, and I it's my first time seeing a, a doc, docu movie about his life it's not the first one the, apparently but no, it's the first one i've seen docu movies, it's the first so one i've watched also i think the actor um kingsley he did an excellent job as well oh, really good acting really great and the the the, the female that played rita marley excellent job as well i think the that strong cast for the production yeah. i would say um 
You were he was making a point about the Patwa being run down. Being, oh my gosh. The Patwa being quote unquote whitewashed. I personally thought it was good. Um even from like the the, the Kings of the, the actor that played Bob Marley, I thought his Patwa was really good. Because I think he's I think he's English. He is English. So I English. I mean I was impressed personally. Um he really embodied the character. Um not just in yeah, voice, he did great, he did but I mean I don't know why they didn't have a Jamaican play Bob. Yeah, it, okay, I'll, I'll give them this. It would have been nice to see a Jamaican play Bob. Um, there was only one Jamaican actress that I saw, which was Naomi Cohen, which they used to play Marcia Griffiths. But I didn't see any other Jamaican actors. Maybe I didn't identify them. But it would have been nice to have a Jamaican lead. Yeah. But I'm not gonna put down Kingsley because he did great nonetheless. Yeah, um the music obviously it was bob's music so naturally it's amazing um it really carried me back down memory lane because i already listened to his music on the regular so being reminded of that and being able to sing along with it it was amazing and i mean the message that bob marley was trying to give then is still relevant now and i'm glad that they kind of highlighted that you know the message in his music i think is why it has been was why it has lived on for so long um, his message about love and freedom and you know justice for all kind of thing it ended out to be early i didn't think it was gonna end when it ended i was actually ready to jam out to the concert at the end and then it just ended but, i mean they ended it where his story ended because that was well, it after that after the, he went to that 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 um show to do the show yeah. in zimbabwe yeah um the sad reality that was portrayed in the movie is you know the reality of jamaica i feel like a lot of the reality that the movie portrayed still exists today which is sad um but hopefully there can be more uprising more rising singers like bob that kind of have that message i think that we should have more artists that's you know really prioritize the message in their music uh bob really champion trying to put that out there and peace and humility and um i love how the end of the movie his line about what did he say um his riches is not in what he was able to achieve but in his life forever and obviously that's eternal life so the movie has a really strong message and i'm glad they didn't water that part of it down solid production definitely worth the watch thank you for watching this video um let me know what you thought in the comments if you watch it or if you plan to watch it and you will see me in my next video